Hey what's up mga bubuig, your math beast friend is back for another video at bilang continuation ng ating basic algebraic differentiation ay pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ang pagkuha ng derivative ng implicit functions. Kung maaalala nyo, kung nanood kayo sa mga previous video natin ay meron tayong kinukuha ng mga derivative like for example example, like for example, di ba meron akong problem like y is equal to uh, 2x plus 3. Now, kapag kukunin natin ito guys, this is an explicit function. Kapag na-isolate mo yung y, saka sa iisang side ng equation, eh, explicit na yun. Pero kapag hindi ganun yung nangyari, eh, yun yung implicit function. Let's say for example, we have y over 2 plus x squared is equal to 7. Ito guys, ito, this is an implicit function. This is an implicit function. So, di ba, kapag ito yung sinosolve natin, kinukuha lang na, kapag kukunin natin yung derivative nito, that's simply y prime is equal to 2, di ba? Ganon yun, ganon yun ginagawa natin kapag explicit. Pero kapag implicit, same, link, same din lang naman yun, guys. Pwede nyo, pwede nyo rin gawin na i, yung y, yung y, i-isolate nyo muna sa isang sign ng equation bago kayo mag-solve. Like, for example, i-gawin natin dito. That's y over 2. Yung x squared, transform natin sa kabilang side ng equation. That's gonna be negative x squared plus 7. Tapos yung 2, ilagay natin dito. So, that's magiging y is equal to negative, sorry, negative x squared plus 7 times 2. Okay? So, in that way, pwede natin isolve yung y prime kasi implicit function na siya. ba diba, guys? Pero ngayon guys, hindi mo naman ito gagawin all the time. Eh. This will be a longer process mas lalo kapag yung binigay sa yung mga equation is like for example let we have uh, 3x squared plus 7y plus y squared is equal to x squared plus 3 paano pag ganto guys hindi mo magagawa yung gantong process kasi it will take you a very long time so ngayon ituturo ko kung paano niyo masosolto na hindi niyo gagawin yung ganitong style okay for now first Try nating isolve to. Tignan natin kung same yung makuha nating answer para naman ma-prove natin na tama yung pinagsasabi ko. So yung unang yung unang premises ko eh kunin na yung unang way kasi ng pagkuha nun is 'di ba i-isolate niyo yung y. So ganun. So bale, isosolve ko to, edi eh, magiging that's y prime is equal to distribute ko muna yung 2 sa mga ano that's sa mga terms negative 2x squared plus 14. Then I'll gonna get the derivative of this. So that's y prime is equal to negative 4x. Yan, negative 4x lang kasi yung derivative ng 14 is 0. Kasi nga, constant. Okay. So, solve natin to in using it as an implicit function. So, balik tayo sa original equation. So, yan, magiging y over 2 plus x squared is equal to 7. Okay, guys. Now, when solving for the derivative, derivative of implicit functions, It, kunin nyo yung derivative term by term, no? Like, as usual that we do. Parang, simply, parang yung dating ginagawa rin natin. Pero may exception yan, guys. Always, nakapag kunin nyo na yung derivative ng y, eh, meron niyang kasamang y prime or dy over dx, no? So, the derivative, so yung, the derivative of y is equal yan sa y prime or dy over dx. So, tignan natin dito. So, ito, yung, Uh, coefficient niya guys, we know that that's 1 half, di ba? 1 half y. Okay? So, ano yung derivative ng y? So, parang, di ba? Y, that's raised to 1, di ba? So, parang power rule din, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 doon. Tapos, y raised to 1 minus 0, 1 minus, 1 minus 1 is 0. Tapos, yun nga, sabi ko, kapag nagdi-derivative kayo ng my y, palagi yung may kasamang y prime. Plus, ano yung derivative ng x squared? That's 2x equals. Ano yung derivative ng 7? That's 0. Alright? So, next step natin here, guys, is dapat ma-isolate na natin yung y prime sa isang side ng equation. So, yung unang gagawin ko dito is ista-transpose ko yung 2x sa kabilang side ng equation. Transpose ko muna yung 2x sa kabilang side ng equation. So, magiging negative 2x. Now, yung 1 half natin magiging 1 half y prime. So, ngayon, itransform ngayon natin itong 2 sa kabilang side ng equation. So, that's gonna be y prime is equal to negative 2x times 2. So, we have y prime is equal to negative 4x. So, ayun nga guys. Same yung sagot natin dito, tsaka dito. Okay guys. So, 
uh, that's only to prove na pwede yung both ways. Pero yun nga, hindi at all the times, eh, kagana to. Kasi tatagal ka talaga. As I was saying, paano kapag ganito yung binigay na problem? At least dito, madali lang kasi i-isolate yung why. So, try natin mag ng mas mahirap na implicit problem. So, ito guys. Alright? So, kunin natin yung derivative. So, ang tanong dito is find dy over dx. dx. Find the derivative of y with respect to x. No? Yun nga. Sabi ko nga, ang derivative ng y ay palaging may kasap ay parang may ay palaging may kasamang y prime all right so dito solve natin to ano yung derivative ng 3x ang derivative ng 3x ay 3x squared di ba kasi 3 minus 1 plus derivative ng y cube ang derivative ng y cube ay 3 tapos kasi para maging coefficient yung exponent tapos y 3 minus 1 is 2 okay as I was saying nga kanina, kapag may derivative na ng y, palagi yung may kasamang dy over dx or y prime. So, gamitin mo natin yung dy over dx dito. Is equal yan sa 3a. Ang a natin dito guys, that's dim as a constant. So, constant yung dalawang to. Okay? So, that's... So, constant yung dalawang to. 3a. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, x times y yan. So, gagamit tayo ngayon ng product rule. no? x times y. So, gagamit tayo ng product rule. So, since constant yung 3a, isang tabi muna natin yan, gamit tayo ng product rule para mas solve to. So, una, anong derivative ng x? That's 1. Tapos, kopihin lang natin yung y. Plus, ano nga yung derivative ng y? Ang derivative ng y is equal yan sa, di ba yung exponent ng y is 1. So, magiging 1. Tapos, y raised to 1 minus 1 is 0. Yan. Okay? Tapos, palaging pag nagdi-derivative tayo ng y prime, may kasam pag nagdi-derivative tayo ng y, palagi yung may kasamang y prime or dy over dx. Tapos, i-multiply naman natin ngayon yung x. Okay? So, ngayon, simplify na lang natin to. Ito guys, that's 3x squared plus 3y squared. Gawin ko tong y prime kasi same lang naman eh. It's equal to 3a. So, dito, that's y plus Ito, 1, y raised to 0, any number raised to 0 is 1. So, 1 times 1 is 1. So, yung natira dito is x, y prime. Yung y prime, kinonvert ko lang dito kasi same lang din naman sila. Okay, next step natin guys is to isolate yung y prime. I-isolate na yun natin yung y prime sa isang side ng equation. So, pa para gawin yun, i-distribute ko muna itong 3a. No? So, magiging 3ay plus 3ax y prime. Dito naman sa kabila, that's 3x squared plus 3y squared y prime. Ngayon, lahat ng y prime, ilalagay ko sa left side. Lahat ng walang y prime, ilalagay ko pa sa kabila. So, itong 3ax y prime, dalhin ko sa kabilang side ng equation para magsama sila nito. So, ito magiging negative 3ax y prime plus, ito guys, 3y squared y prime. Is equal yan. Ito naman, lalihin ko na sa kabilang side ng equation. So, ito, 3ay minus, kasi nga, pupunta sa kabilang side, 3x squared. So, baba natin yan para may space tayo. Kasi minsan, kailangan din natin ng space. Woo! Woo, good pa more. So, ayan. So, solve na natin to guys. I-factor out na. Since, okay guys, so, i-factor out na natin yung y prime. So, magiging y prime, yung matitira na lang sa loob, eh, uh, 3y squared, unahin ko muna to para hindi tayo magulo sa negative, no? 3y squared minus 3ax. Kasi nga, finactor out natin yung y prime. So, natang, naalis sila sa dalawang to. So, equal yan sa 3ay minus 3x squared. Next the step is dalhin na lang natin to sa kabilang side ng equation. Pupunta siya sa denominator nito. So, y prime is equal to 3ay minus 3x squared over 3y squared minus 3ax. Okay. Guys, pwede pa natin itong i-factor out. Take a look. 3 is their common factor, ba? So, ilalabas natin yung 3. Yung maiwan sa loob, eh, ay minus x squared. Tapos sa baba rin, ilalabas natin yung 3. Yung matitira, eh, y squared minus 3ax. So, cancel out yung dalawang 3. Yung matitirang ngayon, ang sagot natin would be equal to ay minus x squared over y squared minus 
AX. Sorry, mali yun. Ayan. So, this is our final answer, no? Mga Bs. So, ayan lang. That's, yun yung, parang, yung pagkuha ng implicit problem kasi, guys, is parang same lang yun sa explicit na derivative. Yung kaibahan lang nun, kapag nag-derivative na tayo ng y, ipalagi eh, meron ka siyang kasama y prime or dy over dx. Don't forget that. So, ayan lang. Practice makes perfect. If you have some questions, comment it down below and sasagutin natin yan mga bis, no? And kung sa tingin nyo, may mali akong nasabi or naturo, eh, hindi naman lahat tayo perfecto, eh. So, so comment down below at tatry natin yung itama at kapag may pagkakamali, itama. Huwag takbuhan. That's, mga, that's it mga bis. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye mga bis.